All right. Bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahweh Shai, bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahweh Shai, bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I would, I would want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing this word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and their brothers is not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachadash, you know, Adawan uh, Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lessons today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rechachadash, it's going to be basically on, you know, we're not praying for two thirds, man. All right, the Lord made it clear, hey, to not pray for these people, man. All right. And the Lord's going to judge I, the wicked, the wicked of our people, man. I, the wicked of Israel and the Israelites are the true biblical Israelites. Are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? I also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. You know, I, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. That the that the Lord, the Lord's holy people, man. I but the Lord's going to judge two thirds of the nation. That, of the nation of Israel here in America, man. And the Lord's going to judge the Israelites that scattered abroad also, man. And we're not lifting up no prayers for them, man. Right? Because they forsake the Lord. We see them every day, every day, all day, you know, going after their own lust, you know, not seeking Yahweh Bashim not even wanting to know the Lord. All right. Trying to come against the prophets. All right. So we wish death and destruction upon, you know, the wicked of our people. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. In verse 18, it says, Then said they, Come, let us devise devices against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, and let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. So they didn't want to hear the words of the prophet Jeremiah, just how they don't want to hear the words of us, you know, because we come in, in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is what the Lord commanded uh, Jeremiah. The Lord was dealing with Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, Then then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So Jeremiah was a prophet unto the nations. All right, just how we are prophets unto the nations. All right, and the scripture says, I'm going to come back to that Jeremiah 1, but the scripture says in the book of... Uh, I believe it's first Corinthians 14. And just spirits of the prophets out. Yeah. This book of First Corinthians chapter 14 in verse 32. It says, And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the ancient prophets are back now, standing in their lot, prophesying. I right, and what did the prophets do? All right. What did the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Ashai do? This book of Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's what the ancient prophets did. They prophesied against kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. We coming in that same lot. You know, start with our, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, telling our people that war is coming. All right, the store is going to be closed. World War III is going to happen, man. Nuclear missiles, man. All out chaos is going to happen. Evil, bad times, man. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. When the Lord is going to send Esau, Edom, which is a so -called, which is just a so-called white man in his army, I right, to slaughter a lot of our people, man. You know, pestilence, all type of diseases, man. All right, that's what the prophets talked about, man. I right, because the Lord said of the prophets to bring down kingdoms. I right, to 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 um he, before the Lord I do anything, he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets. So before the Lord is gonna bring down a kingdom, he would send his prophets out to prophesy against that kingdom. Right, and tell him about this wickedness, man. And tell him that they're not gonna last because ultimately the, the everlasting kingdom is gonna be our Lord Yahweh's kingdom. I right, which the heavenly father Yahweh gave our our big brother. I, who the world England called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, 
Yahweh Shah means he saved, he delivered. The Heavenly Father Yahweh gave him all power and dominion. In the, in the kingdom that's uh, everlasting kingdom that all languages, all nations, all all nations going to bow down and serve him, man. All right. All right. And it's going to be ultimately the kingdom of Israel. That's that's when we're going to have rest. All right. Look at this place. America is full of wickedness, man. Perverseness. All right. The law, the law. They don't keep none of the laws, but the, you got the uh, president, you know, swearing in on the Bible. But that's off anyways, man. They say the Bible is a book of the land. They don't keep no laws, man. They got a whole month full of pride, you know, sodomites, man, celebrating, uh, ravishing in the street, having parades and shit, man. Women all out of order. Men are, are bugged out. Nobody seeking how about you, my shot. Of course, we're going to prophesy against this place, man. All right. This place needs death and destruction, man. All right. And, and our people, you know, looking at us like we're crazy, but we coming out the words of you. We coming out the Bible. All right. These are the words of you. How about Shema Shai? Jeremiah 1 in verse um, 4 again says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I, or, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So the, the Lord, all right, he already, when you come in, when you, when you come, all right, when you're first born, all right, all right, when the when the man when the father you know lays his seed, all right, into the woman she and when they have sex, and the man lays it lays his uh, seed into the woman, and the baby be born, all right, that spirit that the Lord ordained, all right, he's or he ordained it from the heavens that that man was going to be a prophet unto the nation, all right, all right, and, and the scriptures talk about, all right, a hundred and forty four thousand. All right, which is going to be prophets, all right, prophesying in that same lot against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. All right, verse six, it says, then said I, ah, Lord power, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. And that's what Jeremiah was doing. But they wanted to advise uh, devices against Jeremiah, just how they want us to be off the streets, man. Just how in the ancient time they 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 wanted to stone the prophets, man. Uh, they killed the prophets. This time, Yahweh Shemashah, words gonna go forth, and the Lord gonna destroy a lot of our people, man. All right, the Lord's gonna destroy a lot of our people, man. Verse eight: Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. All right. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in my mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. All right. So Yahweh shy Shai, when he says of the prophets, the prophets going to say the Lord's word and that word going to go out. All right. And it's going to accomplish what the, where in the Lord wanted to, to happen, man. All right. America is going to be destroyed with 200 million thermonuclear warheads, man. World War III is going to happen. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered right, by chariots, what the world even call UFOs when our Lord Yahweh shall returns, man. All right? when, in the day of the Lord, is going to be dark. The, lay, the, lay, the, day, so like the day of the Lord is going to be a day of wrath, all right? a day of dark, a lot of bloodshed, man. A lot of weeping and gnashing, man. That's what we're trying to convey to our people. I right, repent or die, man. This is a book of Jeremiah back at Jeremiah chapter 18 and verse 18. It says, Then they say, so then said they, come and let us devise devise devices against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor the nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophets. Come and let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed. To any of his words, which is wasn't his words, it was the most high's words. Verse 19. Give heed un, give heed to me, O Lord, O Lord Yahweh, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. And this is the spirit that Jeremiah was in. This is the spirit that we in right now, man. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have dig a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them. And to turn away thy wrath from them. That's what we're doing. We tell the Lord, we we just tell the Lord, uh, have mercy on our people. And, you know, look, hopefully they can wake up when we tell them the truth. But after a while, they're not gonna get it, man. So death and destruction upon them, man. They want us to stop speaking the word. They don't want us to come back in the world. 
You know, go back into the world, man. Fuck that, man. We serve you how about Shima Shah. And whoever's not serving you how about Shima Shah, they're going to die in this place, man. All right. All right. Verse 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. So we tell them, we tell the Lord, deliver their children up to the famine, man. You know, starve them out, man. Don't have no stores open. Let them starve, man. No fruit of the trees. No, no fruit of the field, man. All right. Starve their ass out, man. Because they, they reject Yahweh Bashima Shah, which is our power, which created the heavens and the earth. All right. The trees, the, the wind, you know, everything that exists, man. And our people to reject them. So let death and destruction rain upon them, man. Therefore, deliver their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. Let their wives be bereaved of the be bereaved of their children and be widows. Let they let they let their children die. Let their husband die. Because they forsook our power, man. And the Lord said He gonna return to us these in these last. He's gonna wake us up, I out of this dead state, man. And the Lord did that, and we give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. That he's that you know we believe that the Lord is dealing with us, man, through His Son Yahweh Shai, because you can't get to the Most High until you get, and uh, you can't get to the Most High. Uh, you have to go through Yahweh Shai to get to the Most High. With you can't get to the Most High without going through Yahweh Shai. All right. Let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows. Let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle, man. And a lot of people going to go over, all right, they're going to join the army. There's going to be a draft, all right? They're going to force you to the army. They're going to send your ass over to the Middle East, to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. You're going to die over there, man. Since you ain't want to serve the Lord, you're going to serve Esau and his army. You're going to bow down to him, and your ass going to get slaughtered, man. Verse 22. Let a cry be heard in, from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they have dig a pit to take me and had and hid snares for my feet. Yea, yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquities. Blot out, blot, not slot, neither blot out their sin from thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thy anger. And that's what we pray unto the Lord, man. You know. We pray to the Lord to deal with them according to your anger because they forsake the Lord day in and day out, man. You can see it, man. You tell our people, hey, don't stop eating pork. They still eat pork. You know, you tell our people, you know, stop getting lineups. You know, they still get lineups, man. Things you can do. You know, that's uh, we can't keep the law 100 percent, but that was things you can cut off, man. Stop worshiping idols, man. That's the main. The Lord hates that, man. Idol worshiping, man. They rep they worship the so-called white man. I right, that image, Cesare Borgier, man. Hey, we not praying for y'all, man. Pray not, you know. I'll end off with this. We ain't praying for you, niggas, man. This book of Jeremiah chapter fourteen. Jeremiah chapter eleven. Oh. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse sixteen. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them. Neither make intercession to me for intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Jeremiah eleven and fourteen. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a pray a cry a cry. So like it. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Oh, the Lord ain't hearing their ass. Jeremiah 14, 11. Then the Lord then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people for their good. You know, we're not praying for our people, man. They're going to get slaughtered out here because they forsook the Lord. You say, how long you simple ones when you love simplicity? How long you going to keep going to those so-called white men for everything? You supposed to go to your how about Shema Shah. Yeah, we under the curses. You know, they have uh, we have to go to him, you know, for uh, cars and phones and all that shit. But it's all ultimately you gotta serve your how about Shema Shah, man. You know? And fear the Lord, man. Our people, they're gonna take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, and they're gonna be destroyed, man. The Lord told us don't take that. The Lord said, He gonna keep us in an hour of temptation. He gonna he gonna feed his servants, man. 
You know, but our people, they're rebellious. So we're not praying for our people, man. We're not praying for the uh, for the ones who was rejected, the ones who are blinded, man. I, I, said, I said I was getting off with that. I get off, I get off with this. Romans 11 and verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right? So our people... All right. If you're not a part of the elect, you blind it and you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, so Lord, when in his lesson was uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim. That's pushing this word and truth and truth and sincerity. Hey, shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep doing shalom.